Hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hi, Sammy. How are you? Happy Friday. Seemed like this week took forever. I don't know, but it was a long week. Sam, can you hear me okay? Just want to make sure before I get started here. And I will make sure. <laughs> Thank you. I get the comments on my screen just because I know I always have um, Facebook users. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Sam. Okay, so as you can see, we have a little tea set here. And um, for those of you that may have caught my first couple of lives with um, the JAMA group. Hi, Moika. I actually did this one. I started out, um, whoa, where am I going? Move this big guy. I started out doing this one. And I, just a little background, I picked up all of these pieces um, at just my little secondhand shop. And I really didn't know what I was gonna do with them. I didn't have a plan. Um, and then when I went live that day, I, I don't know, I just started doing a little bit of, you know, like an Alice type teapot and I fell in love with it and I kept doing it to all of the pieces. So this was the piece that I finished over a couple of lives um, in this group. And then on my own, I went ahead and did these little pieces. And this one. And then the last one that I did was this big guy here, which I absolutely thought this one was so cool. Hi, Linda. Hi, Jess. Because, <clears throat> excuse me, this one had these etchings were in this, um, on this piece already. So I just, it was really neat. You know, but it this piece was fairly tarnished. Um, so, yeah, I really didn't know when I picked this up. I thought, okay, I'm not even sure what to do with it. So it just worked out that I painted these and it ended up, ended up being so much fun. So the last piece that I have is this guy. And it's obviously the platter. Um, I covered it with the uh, paint couture paints. Uh, and I ended up using these because I really, most of the paint couture line is typically used for furniture. And I like the self-leveling self agent that is are in these paints because I was worried about brush strokes. And so that was, it worked out really well because obviously I didn't get any brush strokes with any of these pieces. So this piece is the last piece to complete the set. Um, hi, Nikki, but I don't know if you can tell that this piece even has some etchings in it. I did have to use, um, Pint Art bonding primer and I let that, you know, sit for 24 hours. Obviously when you use the Pint Art bonding primer, you need to let that sit, um, for at least 24 hours before you put anything on it. I'm looking for mine on my desk and I can't, I must have fallen back. Um, anyhow, um, and then after that, I did a, just a spray, um, a spray primer, a white primer. And I try to do everything fairly lightly to keep the etchings because I don't know. I My first thought was maybe if I could do some like light waxing on here to bring them out, but they're not real deep, so I don't know how much of it I can save. So, anyways, I think what I'm going to do is along the edges here is carry through the checkers. Hi, Linda. Thank you. And then, <laughs> but Sam, I'm telling you, these paints, 
I love them. I have a few of them. And actually, I started out getting these because I'm still supposed to do a piece in my bedroom. <laughs> and I haven't done it yet. Um, sorry. My mailman is here, so... Um, so I'm going to end up probably needing to get more paints because I'm going to end up using all of my paint couture paints. But I'll, I'll, you can also see on here it has some really pretty etching. So what I was thinking, I'll do the checkers here. I was even thinking of maybe doing all of this black in here, doing maybe crackle and putting gold in the crackle and then maybe doing some of the dots, some stenciling. Um, because of the dots that I have, like, on here. And then, you know, all of the pieces have, like, some type. Every piece I try to carry out something from another piece, whether it was a color or whatever. But anyways, I will stop talking <laughs> and do something. I'm going to use the Pabea Black Gesso um, just to get some coverage down on this. And it's thin enough that I'm hoping, again, I don't know how much of this etching I can save, but we'll see. Facebook you Hi, Nicole. You're coming up as Facebook user, but I can see you on my phone. Man, this... See, I really like this gesso. It's cool because, you know, it has the flip top. But I'm always afraid that when I squeeze it to flip it open, that the paint's just going to come gushing out. <laughs> So I don't know. Like squeeze a little bit, squeeze a lot. I don't know. All right. I'm going to have to move this just a little bit. Hi, Lou. You found me. I'm in the group, right? Oh, my gosh. Am I in the Jim Jams group? Holy moly. I think I'm in here. <laughs> I hope I'm in there. So, does anybody have anything that they're working on? We're coming. I can't believe how quickly September has gone. So, we're coming into October. This week has finally... I don't know, some of you may know that I have, I suffer from migraines, and in California, at least, we had a horrible heat wave. We were dealing with 116 degree weather, um, 116, and the lowest was 111, so I believe in Celsius, that was like 46 in the 46s mid 40s. So I was having horrible migraines and nausea for it lasted probably a good, good week. And I was having a really hard time functioning. It was awful. Yeah, it, it it's, it's, <laughs> it was very crazy. Um, so this week, finally, seems to have kind of calmed down a little bit. We're still in the 80s, but I'll take 80s any day over 116. Hi, Celia. So, yeah, it just... I, I couldn't even... I couldn't even look at the computer. I couldn't even sit and craft much. Um... I had a couple of projects due, and I just, the lights uh, from the computer, anything, it was bad. But anyways, this week seems to have calmed down, and now we're back at the table, able to do some crafting. And I told Rachel, I said, Rachel, I need to finish my last piece. Do you want me to do it in the group? <laughs> so... <laughs> No caffeine, Sam? Have you given up caffeine? 
Ooh, that's another headache just waiting to happen. Goodness gracious. And that was another thing. It just, you know, I was trying to take my migraine medicine. But that, and then that was making me nauseous. It, it, I don't know. It was just all kind of crazy. Anyways, enough complaining. What are you guys working on? Anybody working on anything right now? Any Halloween, Christmas? What are you guys doing? I almost felt like I couldn't even do fall. Can you do fall when it's 116 out? I kept telling myself, I need fall weather. So. So I can kind of, I can see the etchings a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be. They're not going to come through enough for me to do anything, um, I don't think. But if you look close enough, you'll see them, which is kind of neat, too. There you go. All right. I might just use this to do the, let's see. I'm working on autumn projects this week and next. Then one week of Halloween and then Christmas. It's crazy. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah, you've got a lot going on. That's that's a ton. Uh-oh, I lost the group. Where did the group go? I can't see comments if I'm not in the group. <laughs> Hold on a second. There we go. Okay. A lot, everybody comes up as Facebook users, so it's hard for me to tell sometimes, so I try to have it on my phone. You're stitching new stamps, Lou? Okay, now, let's see. And I know I'm painting again, but sorry. Probably like, oh, goodness, she only comes in here and paints. Yay. <laughs> I was watching somebody the other day, and they said, um, yeah, I know pa painting is boring to watch, and I knew I was going to be doing this live, and I went, oh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> I'll try to paint fast because I do have some other stuff that I'll do. I was watching. I I don't the lives that happen in JAMA. I just I always enjoy. So I had last night. I watched the replay of um, Blanche, and then of course the other day. Sam and Olga, which were amazing. But I ran out of Pepsi Max, so I figured I'll see if I can kick the habit. Oh, okay. So you said, what, two days now, Sam? That's actually pretty good. I think if you can go two days, you know, couple, the first couple of days obviously are like the hardest, right? Whoa. My hand slipped on that one. So. Are you the only one in your house that drinks that, Sam? Because that's what makes it hard, too, is if other people in the house drink it and you see it. I know you ran out, but will somebody else, will your, any of your kids bring it back in the house. I really shouldn't have painted this on the inside first because I have nowhere to rest my hand. That's why I keep moving this around. 
could dry it, but Ooh, birthday cards. You know, when I, because I, star, I started out doing watercoloring, and then I wanted to try some other things and start doing some, you know. So that I started to, to try card making. And I did, like, some simple ones, but... No, I just, I moved on to album making, and then that, that I did for a while. I did a lot of scrapbook albums. And I actually, the only reason why I stopped making scrapbook albums was because I ran out of space to store them. Because, <laughs> you know, you can't just put them in a bin or a Tupperware bin or anything like that. They have to be... You know, you put, take a couple of days to do them. You don't want to just throw them up on a shelf or throw them in the closet or in a, you know, bin. So, and mine always had a bunch of flips and pockets and waterfalls and pop-ups. So, they were always bulky. So, just trying to store them was... Okay, and that's actually why I hadn't made them in a while. Yes, Nikki is addicted to Dr. Pepper. <laughs> she does late night runs for Dr. Pepper. I was talking to her one night and she was getting ready to go and it was late in the evening and I said, where are you going? You gotta go get a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> what the heck? I think it was almost it was late. It was past 10 her time. I was even thinking of maybe doing, because I pulled out the Stamperia, the gold crackle, but I don't think I want that much gold on there. I was thinking just maybe a hint of it, like through the stencil or something. We'll see. I don't know. What do you guys think? No, you are definitely not the only caffeine addict. I'm telling you, when Nikki was getting ready to go, I thought, where, where are you going? Why? Is something wrong? Because it was so late. No. I'm just going to run down to the store. I need my Dr. Pepper. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is I actually have Dr. Pepper in my house, so... I was teasing her. Is this... Can I put my hand on it now so I can stop being... Turning this on. Like a crazy person. So I've only done... Two Halloween projects so far. And I've gotten some really neat, um, like, molds in. One of the projects I can't even post yet until it gets approved. But, um, I need, I want to do at least a couple more Halloween projects before I start doing some Christmas. I was saying, I think I was saying on one of my lives that 
for Christmas this year, I am making it a goal to use baubles. That's another thing that is in my closet that I need to get rid of. Does anybody need baubles? <laughs> I have a ton of baubles. In all different sizes. It's just maddening. I don't know what the heck. I can probably, if I put the baubles to decorate a tree, I could probably do two to three trees complete with all of the baubles that I have. And they're of all sizes. But I blame Amazon because they sell them in like packs of 15, 20. Yeah, they do. They do. See, Sam, we have to do baubles. I'm telling you. Yeah, they do say that, you know, if you can stop drinking because of, you know, all the sugar in, you know, in soda, that that alone, you lose a lot of weight. All right, Terry, we need to get this going before. But I have just started drinking Dr. Pepper again. I was doing really well and not drinking any soda at all. I was just drinking like, you know, waters or teas and I hadn't drank any kind of soda in a while and then i don't know for some reason this year there's nothing like a fountain soda fountain soda you know a cup from like the convenience store or something with the big old cup of ice and uh favorite and i had one one day and then that was it I started drinking soda again. But I really should stop. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter. The Pepsi Max, the, what is it, Coke Zero. They all have something in it, even though they zero calories or... You know, some there's still something in it that's they just try to make you feel good by saying, you know, <laughs> zero. I really um good Facebook. Hi Julie. Oh, polystyrene balls, you have a lot of those? I have, I don't have many of those. You know what I do? I have a few eggs of the polystyrene eggs. Sorry, Sam, close your ears. Um, again, I think I needed only one and I couldn't just get one because Amazon, you know, sells them in, in packs. But yeah. I am. Um, I do have some eggs that I didn't use up. <laughs> I said close your ears, Sam. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, if you don't know, Sam is not a fan of polystyrene. polystyrene. She is not a fan at all. I don't even... <laughs> they don't send a package and have those peanuts or anything like that to Sam. She, yeah, don't do it. Uh, 
Okay. Ah. Really, Terry. I'll do clean up. I won't suffer. Make you guys suffer through that. Sam, is it the noise, the texture, or you just don't? You know what? I can't. Oh, it gives me the heebie-jeebies just thinking about it. You know, a soda can. Ooh, you know the soda cans. I can't handle when somebody puts a straw and it scrapes on the metal, or when they put their finger in in the soda can and in that in the the hole. Oh, uh, it. Ugh. Like it gives me goosebumps. I that I cannot handle. I don't like hearing that that noise. I oh my goodness. I don't know. That will give that I I don't I'll start like doing like the, the heebie jeebie dance and yeah, I can't handle that noise. I never have been able to. Oh, really, Sam? <laughs> you don't, and cotton wool, huh? Wow. Okay. I didn't know about, the, I knew about the polystyrene, Sam. I didn't know about the, the cotton, the wool. Yeah, we are. We're all a bunch of weirdos. I really, I cannot. As soon as somebody does that, like they'll play with the, you know, the the top that opens the cans. They'll scrape their finger on that metal or they put the straw in. Ah, uh, that's it. I'm out of there. I am out of there. I cannot do it. There's something about that noise that makes me. And of course, you know, when people find out about that, they, they think that's funny. So they want to keep doing it, you know, keep putting their straw in there and being evil. <laughs> A couple more, and then, like I said, we'll go through and, oh, I'm thinking I'll do just like the, the crackle, the fine line crackle in here, and then dust it in there with, um, like a gold mica or something in the cracks. And then, you know, also what I was thinking of doing is putting like gold flakes in here. Like I have this one um, and also a purple and then putting like this, you know, the stamp period, the, the crystal resin and just putting a layer of the resin on here because if you're putting stuff on it obviously i mean i will put you know a varnish on here but i thought it would be neat to almost look like the flakes kind of were floating in there in the resin so we'll see what you guys think yeah see when I say to them, I don't mind needles all day long, but show me fluffy cotton wool. I run out nearly screaming. <laughs> oh my gosh, Sam. Yeah, Olga likes teasing you. See, yeah, they, like, my friends in school thought that was the funniest thing. 
to do that with the cans. And I just like, okay. Mean. <laughs> Just know if it's just because of the dips in this that it's awkward for me to hold and paint and I keep having to move it around so much I'm not finding like a comfortable angle with the brush <laughs> also I'm trying not to make line wobbly so But I kind of embraced where some, well, some of these areas I'll have to fix, but where the lines weren't perfectly straight, I was like, yeah, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Okay. I will say that these little like marks where I drug my finger though are kind of driving me a little nuts. <laughs> it's taking everything for me not to stop and fix them. Don't do it. Right? That's what I was thinking. I mean, I might need to varnish the top, obviously, like up here at the top. But if I did like the layer of the resin, and I was also thinking like it would be neat if I had, because since that is self-leveling, I was thinking if I had like any of the, um, like the small, small deck of cards the really tiny i have that somewhere to like lay in and put the resin on they're really small cards you know like just to have those in there oh actually i have shakeums that have the the hearts and the drink me and stuff i could put the shakeums down and put the resin on Ooh. Oh my goodness, that might be a winner. What do you think? So I'll do like the layer. Yeah, right? Because I have them. I think that would be so neat to do. I will show you guys what I'm talking about. It's from the Mix palette. And you guys have seen that we I've used some MDFs in here from her before. And it's from Nicole. Um, oh, my goodness. I kind of like that idea. And do you see? So in here are like the cards. Like the diamond, the heart. So what I'm thinking is I'll sprinkle those down after I do the crackle. Obviously, I'll do this. And then I'll do the layer of the resin on top. Oh, my goodness. And the resin will self-level on it. Yes, 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 yes. I like it. I like it. Obviously, that's not something that I'll be able to complete with you guys because the resin will need to dry but oh my goodness i will definitely take pictures 
and show you guys, but oh yes, I think that would be cute. Okay, I gotta fix this. I'm sorry, it's driving me bananas. And I actually had a feeling I'd probably do this, so I just brought out Finn's um, impasto because, you know, that will. Golly, do I have, I must have it on my hands and not realize that I'm touching. You guys are probably seeing it going, oh my God, what is she doing? <laughs> okay. So before I do the top here, I'll let this dry because I'm going to have to do another layer. One, uh, before I do the top here, I'm going to go ahead and put a um, layer down of the fine line crackle because I do want to have the silver in, uh, silver, the gold in there. And then I will lay that down and put the shakums on that. So this is the Pintart um, Fine Line Crackle. It is a two-step crackle. I love this stuff. <laughs> I actually like all of Pintart's crackle. So. And this one, the fine line is... Um, It's the cracks aren't as, as big as like a classic crackle. You can um, heat this one also with a heat gun. I knew I wanted to put something down in here, but wasn't quite sure what, but yes. Just even having a few of those shakums on here, I think is going to be so cute. And then obviously the resin, because there's a lip around here. So because that resin will self-level and this lip, lip will hold it in just fine. So that'll be perfect. All right, we'll let that dry. I'm gonna come around the edges. I'm thinking I'm going to do, because I wanna bring in one of the colors back. So I think I will do the purple around the edge. And the purple is the Plums and Roses, the CC Restyled Remix line from Pink Couture. Let me get some of this stuff out of my way so it's not... in the... in everything. All right, and again. I wonder if I can. go over this with like a gold wax on the top of this just to bring out some of these features as well like this the detail on the, this platter was is really pretty
so have I know in the UK um because our kids started school in August so I know that in the UK they were starting in September so is everybody getting into their school schedules now kids being back in school finally <laughs> I feel though, like I, I think, okay, when my son goes to school, I'm going to do this, that, and this and that. And then maybe I can even rest for a minute and this, and the next thing you know, it's time for him to come home. Where did the day go? I almost feel the day goes faster when I, <laughs> I'm thinking I should have all of this time because he's gone to school. And I swear the next thing you know, he's home. And if you know my son, Troy, he is a tornado. He comes, I can clean the house and he'll come through and at mock speed and everything will be <laughs> disarray again. So they tell me the other day that they call Troy the mayor in school. <laughs> That's his official title, is the mayor. Oh, boy. Yeah, probably fitting. Thank you, Nicole. That's too many teens for me. 65 teenage girls, Sam? Um. <laughs> I always knew that you had patience of a saint, but... Oh, my Lanta. 65 teenager girls is... <sighs> God bless you, Sam. <laughs> That's all I can say. Is you're, you are an angel. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a lot of hormones. That's a lot of attitude. That's a lot of everything. Mm -mm. I know how I was as a teenage girl, and I wouldn't want 65 of me. Yes, yes, Troy is a force to be reckoned with. He sure is. He is. My son is back, went back to college last Wednesday, but only does Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, my son is... Well, again, like I said, I'm in California, so my kids started back in August, and uh, my my youngest is a junior in college, and he is only doing um, Tuesdays and Thursdays, at least this semester. So, but he, I can't be more proud of him. He has gotten straight A's since the seventh grade and he's still continued even into college but he tells me that these last two years he's going to relax a bit and take it easy which I really hope he does he deserves to just kind of relax and just let it let it flow a little bit he's always worked so hard to I just keep them sweet, making them apple cakes instead. Ha <laughs> ha. Teenage girls, they're going to need a lot of apple cakes to stay sweet. You get one with an attitude and whoo, that's all it takes. That's got to be loud. I'm just trying to think of all the noise 65 teenage girls would make. Whew. I grew up with three older brothers. So I was a tomboy. Always had, you know, I... I could swear I was going to be a wide receiver for Dallas Cowboys football. That was like what I thought I was going to do when I got older. 
but so growing up i was always tomboy always wanted to hang out with the boys and then as you know obviously started getting some you know my girlfriends but wow i could only take them in do doses even my friends it's just the arguing and the cackling and huh oh. Hi, Olga. Thank you. Oh, hi, Blanche. I was just saying I watched your live last night. I didn't didn't catch you live, but I watched your replay, your bottle. Very pretty. I miss doing lives with you, Blanche. I would do lives with Blanche, and she'd have me cracking up the whole time. I don't know what it was. We would just be laughing at everything, just always silly. So, but yes, I seen, I seen you were nervous, and I wanted to jump on and host for you, Blanche, so you would have somebody to talk to. But you didn't need to be nervous. You did great. Yes, she is amazing. Yeah, yeah, I'm serious, Olga. I can't. Uh, teenage girls in doses only. I can't. Too much. Even now, I have two boys, so I, I, I don't know what I would have done if I would have had girls. I think I, I would have gone mad, literally. Because my mom used to always tell you, wait until you have girls. She's going to be just like you. So, nope, I'm not having girls. <laughs> As if I had a choice. <laughs> but thankfully, I got my two boys. Yes, Blanche is amazing. Yes, we have to, Blanche. You just let me know. When you have time, now that you're back from your... Dallas trip. Is it just me or did this trim take about as long as the doggone checks did? How are we doing on time? Oh, boy. Okay. Not bad. I'm almost done. Okay. Is what I'll do is dry the middle and I'll sprinkle down what I'm going to resin, and you guys will see. Your mom said the same to your sister. How many girls did you? <laughs> How many girls did your sister have? <laughs> Yeah, my mom used to say that to me all the time. You just wait. You just wait. You're gonna get a girl, and they're gonna you're they're gonna do exactly what you do. And and mind you, I felt I was a saint. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Honestly, though, I wasn't a bad kid. I didn't like do anything. I just was sassy. What it was is I was just like my mom. So, you know. All right. Got that purple on. Let's hit this with the dryer. Just the one and she is just like her. <laughs> Yes, I know, Olga. There can only be one queen, right? Just like I was, I, I think, too, my, my arts and crafts, like, you know, when I did freelance makeup, and I, I don't know. She would want my stuff. No, no. 
No. Yeah, you. I know, Sam. Bella is an amazing cutie. She is your mini me, though. Definite mini me. All right, let me, while I'm doing this, I'm going to grab some gold mica. I have a gold metal pigment that I'll run through. I know, but you know what? Bella's reading your stash, but we I've seen her artwork and she's telling you that she's she's she is mini me. What recipe are you asking for, Nikki? Are you asking Sam for her recipe? I'm actually going to grab a gold as well. Let's do the vintage gold, and I'll do that around the rim while we're waiting for this to dry. Yeah, she's a cutie pie. She really is. So that's the only thing about... Um, crackle right is you you do have to get it to dry and the thicker you put it on the bigger the cracks yada 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 some of these i went a little thick so i will need to let it dry i don't want to keep the heat on it for too long i'll do it in doses here but i'll get finished up so i'm not keeping you guys here all evening I'm actually going to take some of the Finnabar Vintage Gold and run it along the edges. We exchange cupcake recipes, apple cake for key lime. Oh, yes. Yes. Who, don't tell Bella that? Oh, she probably already knows, Sammy. See that? Just doing the gold. Don't want it on the white at all. I can feel the heat coming off of this. Okay. 
actually going to pick this up a little bit and do the edges. <laughs> Can you imagine Bella and Troy? Oh my goodness, they would probably run the house. <laughs> it I was running wild. Can you see the so you can see the purple come through, but I think it'll look good with that. All right, let's see if we can get these couple of other little yeah, they're still. I have another dryer here. I'll just put them back. I love the check design you have going through all the pieces. Thank you. I'm actually going to do two hand now. Sorry, is that loud? Should I mute that? Okay, so unfortunately, we're not going to get it all dry. So I'm going to have to go in and put the second component down. It will dry underneath. This isn't the best do as I say, not as I do. The cracks will still happen underneath where it is um, still white. But I would advise you not to do this. But just for the purpose of completing it for the light, putting the... Um, the gold pigment down, I'm going to go ahead and put the second component down. But yes, you should wait until these bigger ones have dried as well. But I can already see I'm coming up on an hour and I don't want to keep you guys here for all evening watching something dry. I promise I do other things than paint and uh, let things dry. <laughs> Though that's all you guys have seen from me. <laughs> All right. And then this one actually doesn't take as long to dry as the first one before the cracks show. probably mute you guys again so you don't have to listen to the dryer and then yeah I know right that's the funnest part is watching people paint and things dry <laughs> shoot <laughs> hold on
Okay. So I can see, but what I'm going to do is because I was thinking if I put that pick, if I put this all on there where it's not dry, it's going to really create a mess. So I'm just going to show you in like the outside where it's cracked um, what, it, what I'm going for. So you can kind of see and then... Because I'm afraid if I do this all over, it's going to really pick up. Okay, sorry. I know that's just like a little piece, but do you see that? <laughs> sorry. No, it's not your phone. My dog started barking, and then I the dryer I put on that second dryer. So I put it, I did it calm on mute because my dog started barking and no one's here to save it, me from him. But anyways, if you guys can see the crack that I just put the gold in, and then what I'm going to do is once this is all dry, I will do this everywhere. I will put the gold um, pigment throughout the whole thing. And then can I even, uh, kind of. So, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually sprinkle this yummy goodness. You can see that. All through here. And then I'm going to put, look at, there's even like the little, the, the club and everything in here. It's going to look so cute. And the cards, the big and the small. Oh, my goodness. So I'm going to put... Sweat. I'm going to put this down on here, and then I'm going to use the epoxy resin and put a layer over that and lock these all in. So that will be underneath, and then I'll place all of these on top. So then these will all sit on top of there. So anyways, I will finish this off and then take pictures and post it in the group. I'm sorry that I so much drawing time. I didn't even think about it. But yeah, with those underneath, I can see the cracks coming through. But I'm afraid that if I start putting on that pigment, it's going to stick to where it's still wet. And then I'm just going to have big globs of, <laughs> of gold. <laughs> and it's going to look crazy. So anyhow, as always, thank you so much for inviting me, Lou, Linda, um, Rachel. And I appreciate you all being here and keeping me company. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend Hope you have something fun planned. I don't know that I do. I'm just excited to craft because I don't have a headache. <laughs> so I'm going to say goodbye for now. I'm going to continue working and drying this with the, the dryer, not torturing you all with having to hear it. And then as soon as it's done, I'll post pictures in the group. So maybe like an hour or so. So anyways, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.